We did a few different things. Um, one of them was just, you know, periodically during the lecture, pausing for a little while, trying to get them to do peer uh, instruction, talking about, you know, asking a question or actually doing programming during the, the lecture, I could show them how to do it, but then, you know, hopefully they're sitting next to someone who might have more programming knowledge or may understand the mathematics better, and so they can kind of construct a, an answer together. Um, so it was that aspect of it. Also, we, we really emphasize group work um, and try to add group work. So in, instead of doing lecture actually in class, having them pair up um, and, you know, doing uh, uh, peer instruction in that way. Um, we tried to be clever about it <laughs> and try to you know, put together people who maybe had a stronger math background or a stronger computer science background with their opposite. Um, that was challenging. <laughs> it was logistically very difficult. Um, we, also, the, we also did peer review, which also helped to um, have, the, well, have the added benefit of them reading someone else's programming and, and judging it from themselves, but that also meant that they got exposed to more solutions and got exposed to other people's uh, you know, methodologies for solving the same problems. Um, so I think uh, like altogether that that really made it less intimidating for some students, especially coming from you know, maybe uh, a weak programming background. But also the opposite happened where you saw students who maybe had a clever mathematical idea programmed it and then they would see that idea too. So you kind of had this nice um, you know, flowing both ways and, and uh, had the nice ideas coming that way.